got a ball sack hanging down there. I'm going to get on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like some 80 year old man's balls just <laughs> Righto, we're gonna set up the tents I got a three man called a Wicker 3 Kiwi camping An old mate Ben, he borrowed one off a friend Ben's quite new to the camping scene here we got a, a two second tent. It's one of those ones I think where you just throw it. I'm gonna stand back. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We are off on another trip. We're heading up, this is the Harper River just over here, you won't be able to see that yet, but we're going up the Harper River and then we're going to turn left and we're going to head up the Avoca River. There's a hut up there called the Basin's Hut, we'll check that out. I have a funny feeling it's going to be full because this weather is so good that um, people just come up here and they'll want to stay in the hut. So Ben and I, this guy over here, um, we'll head up the valley a bit further and we'll find a spot to camp. Sit around the campfire, oh it'll be good. But what are you going down to Ben? Yeah about 20. About 20? Yeah nice. I've been very busy on the old landy in the last couple of weeks, I've done a lot. I've got two brand new prop shafts put on there. Because I'm running a Toyota Moto and a Toyota gearbox, it's all shifted back. So my prop shafts have to be modified, which wasn't cheap, but the back one is quite short and the front one is quite long. So we've just got the keys from the, uh, the Glenfawn station and we are uh, got onto their little access road that we're using. Absolutely cracker day. This is the Avoca River here, so this is the first time you cross it. This is Ben and his 96 Defender 90. Just made our way across that first little wee river valley. It's pretty, pretty easy. But the cool thing about um, this place and a lot of these tracks around here is people put these orange markers, and they are so good to know where to go. Because sometimes you can get out here and you can get quite lost, especially if it's covered in snow. So hopefully you'll be able to see this um, if there's a foot of snow around here. So then you just follow this track and away you go. And there'll be a few more. It's amazing what the flow of water can do. The river's scoured out the bank here, that whole tree is just sort of floating. There's um, all the roots and everything. Check that out. We're not alone. Down there, there's about 23 other vehicles coming up in a large group, and they're with the uh, Canterbury Land Rover Club. But yeah, so we kind of want to keep ahead of them to bring you guys the the real crisp, clean, beautiful, natural 
beauty of New Zealand. <laughs> Some of Lord of the Rings was shot up there. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> it was it. Righto, continue on. I'll tell you what, it's quite a skill driving an old series Land Rover with no power steering, full driving in this stuff with one hand. Enjoy the stuff that I make, and you want to say, oh, mate, wish I could buy that guy a beer. I'll leave a link in uh, the description below, and you just follow that, and you can just donate five bucks. It's, it's like the same way as saying, you know what, Hayden, I'll buy you a beer, mate. I appreciate what you do, all the hard work. Check that out. I hope you can see it on the camera. Must have been a massive snow, like avalanche type thing, it's come down. Let's go check out this hut. Oh, so I think these guys are probably out hunting at the moment. And this place is about to get really busy because there's uh, <laughs> 23 other vehicles about to turn up here and I think they're all gonna try and camp here. So it was built in 1974, Basin's hut. Let's check it out. They smell, eh? Oh, nice little setup. We won't be staying here. No way. This will stink of farts later. <laughs> have a check out um, Old Basin's hut now. Yo Ben, can you stop there and then record me coming up there and then pan around to the old uh, hut? Yep, yeah, on it.
if you enjoy these videos and you want to help out in any way, um, there's lots of different ways you can do it. You can you can say super thanks by using YouTube. Um, you can become a Patreon. So basically, you're, you're giving a, a couple of bucks um, a month to me to, to help make these videos, or you can go to buymeacoffee.com and you just buy me a beer, and it helps with all the maintenance and all that. So, cheers. So we were just checking out um, Old Basin's Hut just before and then the Canterbury Land Rover Club turned up and they, we talked to them and they're going to stay the night there hopefully <laughs> I, say, I say that in a nice way only because we come up here to get away from other people and you know you just sit around the campfire and it's nice and peaceful Ooh, it's getting windy um, but it's a, a lot less peaceful when there's 23 vehicles and probably at least 50 people um, so we're gonna head up that valley over here but we'll go check out this is the old original basin's hut helps if I open the door back basin's hut 1957 oh, sticker in here. no oh man you might not be able to pick this up because it's really dark in here there's no skylights in this one. Well, this is empty if you want to stay in night here. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I remember chicken. when I was younger, I had a bed like that. <laughs> it's like chicken wire. Yeah, no, legit. My first bed was one of these. Back <laughs> where, in the where, 70s. Where, where did you grow up? In like freaking <laughs> eastern Ukraine or something? <laughs> Ooh, that's a bit, can't see that right now. <laughs> so, this is the little wee. What do you call this wee? Veranda. Veranda. <laughs> and then look at this. <laughs> you can hang out your washing. <laughs> anyway, so we are going to carry on. We're going to continue right up this valley pretty much as far as we can go. And um, we'll set up camp and yeah. Sing Kumbaya. So old Ben is complaining quite a lot about these bugs. He's, um, oh, these sandflies are getting in my pants. <laughs> right, so we've got a couple of Land Rovers just parked up here. A little bit of snow here. And we're just deciding this is where we're going to call home for the night. Primo we spot. Yeah, I think we'll, um, we'll start setting up camp. And then... Um, Later on, I think we might go for a little wee drive further up. Right. Tell me that tree, that branch, doesn't look like a dog. Oh. <laughs> what? Can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> it almost looks like someone set it up, but I think it's just, it's not. It's just what, what, kind of, what kind of dogs have you been hanging out with, mate? <laughs> what, tail? Yeah, nice. Yes. Big funny face. <laughs> Righto, we're going to set up the tents. I'll let Ben do his first. It's one of those ones I think where you just throw it. I'm gonna stand back. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got me in the face. <laughs> throw it. Oh, I think. <laughs> oh, I'm 
waiting for it to fucking <laughs> Please take the glasses off! Oh, mate. I hope it gets really windy tonight. Oh, there we go. Oh, hey! Look at that! Tenting can be dangerous. Is that right on the Um Go that orange. Let's go that. Into that corner. Let's colour code. Oh. Do I look like a Ram Raider? <laughs> yep. Oh, that's straight into a rock. Hear that? Yeah. You keep hitting it hard enough, it'll find a way around it. Benjamin's down there. I'm here. Ben's chilling out with all the bugs. We'll set up a nice wee fire later. Okay, so we've just set up the tents, unloaded a couple of things, um, and now we're going to go up the river a little bit further and just have a little, a little nosy about, and then we'll come back and have dinner and get the fire going and all that. not everybody's cup of tea. I tell you what, you'll never see my wife out on any of these trips. She, mm, I'll say, dislikes four-wheel driving with a passion. <laughs> she hates it. We go over a small bump and she's like, oh my god, we almost rolled! Uh, no, 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 we didn't. How far do you want to go, Ben? Well, I don't know if you want to go 
Keen to turn around so we can get back and get the fire going and everything. Um, some wind chimes, so <laughs> if it gets windy in the night, we'll know. And it just improves the ambience. <laughs> I can't wait for the wood chopping to take in the video. <laughs> Persevering. Ah, my finger. Right, eh? There's my table. Set up stuff. So, I'm pretty sure you can use some of this stuff. Oh, like a natural fire lighter. Yeah. Let's see how we get. I brought my flint out with me. Flint, flint. <laughs> flint. Nice. Flint. Good flinting, Hayden. Yeah, nice. It'd be funny if I burnt my eyebrows off. <laughs> Got a bag. Got some broccoli, star of the show. Ribeye Scotch fillet. Some cherry tomatoes in here. Right, I'm going to season my steak now. Juicy. My olive oil's gone all funny. Leave a comment, why is my olive oil gone funny? Okay, this is not normal, but I'm just gonna spread spread, spread my olive oil on. I'm gonna let this marinate in here for a little bit. Let's put this mammoth steak on there. Look at that. We've got some veggies cooking away here. We've got potato, tomato, broccoli, onion, and some mushrooms. Looking good. And there's the old beautiful looking steak. Ben's got some bacon, some onions, and some meat patties. So, this is my little wee bug zapper in here. Check that out. So here's that um, EcoFlow product. Turn this bad boy on. This is like an electric blanket type thing. So that's telling me it's using 52 watts power and it will run for 13 hours. Righto, we made it through the night. It's just after six o'clock and we're both wide awake. That um, heated blanket thing, it was very nice. The EcoFlow, so that was running all night and it used 50%. Hey, morning, Ben. Hello. Thank you. 
No. Tell us what you got, Ben. Um, I've got uh, beans of some description. Camp smoky campfire beans, I think they're called. Oh, quite yeah. literally. Yeah, smoky beans, and I've got pancakes going over here. Surprisingly, quite good actually. Out of this, Edmonds buttermilk pancake mix. Just boiling up some water at the moment. Make myself a coffee. Ben's over there packing up his pop-up tent. Does it pop down as easy as it pops up? No. No. <laughs> we are all packed up. Chuck some snow on the fire. Put that out. Look around. So we'll head back to reality. pressure is back to normal. Was that your first night camping? First overnight foil drive trip. Oh yes. First of many I'm sure. If you enjoyed it uh, subscribe, like, do all that, share it with your friends. Um, and I'll leave a link because uh, I used that EcoFlow product that I had in the last video. I used that last night and that was really good because I plugged in this the heater blanket as you saw. Um, so I'll leave a link in the description about that um, where you can get that from yeah all right we'll see you on the next one don't forget to watch this video here it's real good